Hello and welcome. Last week I made this German Mac Walker diorama. In this one I'm building the next section of the build. So I know people like seeing robots, mechs, sci-fi ships and stuff. In this one though there is no mech like in the previous video as a main diorama element or a house etc in this video. This is going to be mainly a train work other than the seven figures I'll prepare and paint. But it's needed to bind the third section, the one you've seen in the previous video, and the first section later, which will have the American position and its own mech walker, so wait for it. So as usual I start with cutting off the necessary styrofoam sections and glue them over the foam core base. With the basic shape of the base done, I start making a bridge frame out of, you guessed it, cardboard. I originally planned this bridge to be longer and have three arches, but once I had the base ready, I decided that it is not big enough to have a bridge cover the entire diorama base as well as have trees and US soldiers in an ambush position. In order to cover the gap inside where the arches, I scored cardboard and gave it the somewhat half circle shape and glued them in there. Once the bridge frame is done, I hot glued it on the base to its pre-designated spot. I next softened the edges with my thumb in order to create a um, more descending look. Prepared styrofoam for the stoneberg of the camera. With a pair of styrofoam strips, I covered the gaps where the bridge meets the ground. After that, the stonework began. I covered the sides with bigger stones in order to make it look sturdier and then started laying the cobblestones over it. Also planned to have the road to just start before the previous video's diorama. So when four parts of this thing is done it will look like it starts with a dirt road where Germans are advancing from, leading to the bridge and then from the bridge road will be fully covered with the cobblestones supposedly leading down towards a town or a settlement, which again where the supposed US base is. Once the road section is done, I thought the bridge needed to look bigger and bulkier, so I added another layer of bigger stones. After that I covered the sides with smaller stones. I added random wall plaster and styrofoam rocks to the creek bed to make its ascend or descend effect more subtle. I also added some boxy shaped rocks to imitate the broken stonework of the bridge falling down to the creek. Once that's done, I covered the entire base other than the road section with PVA glue to add crumbles, smaller rocks, baking soda and some wall plaster mixture. Then I painted it with black craft paint. And then I started painting the ground sections with a dark brown. After that I painted the rock and stone parts with dark grey, then lighter tones of grey with dry brushes on each tone of paint. Made a mixture of light green and yellowish grey tones to paint random smaller rocks. Did the same to the bottom part of the bridge. A bit of a green tone to represent some mossy feeling. I next applied a very light grey, almost white dry brush all over the bridge and the road section. Scraped dry pastels to get a mixture of weathering powder and applied it all over the bridge. Normally I use Revelle's weathering powders for this, but these pastels were sitting in my drawers so I decided to use these instead. Will probably do so until these are finished. Revelle's powder seem to be superior in result, but <laughs> these guys need to be used and finished at some point. As usual, applied IPA to seal the weathering effect. Prepared the base for ground flock by applying PVA glue on certain spots where I want to see some soft ground. And practically poured down my ground flock. Then brushed off the excess once it dried enough. While making the trees for this build, I made a dead one fallen down to the creek, and I glued it on the base. 
place some green and mixed colored flock to represent foliage grown by the creek. And then tape the sides to prepare the base for adding the epoxy resin. I don't trust styrofoam all that much, so I made sure the tape sticks to the base. I thought I had enough epoxy remaining in the bottle for this. The hardener part was fine and looked enough, but turns out the epoxy itself got dried at the bottom after about 4 years. So <laughs> I'm not blaming anyone but myself for not using it until now. I planned to use this amount I had anyway and then go to the store and buy some more and add on over the creek bed. But it turned out just enough for this project. I added a couple of drips of green brown paint to make it look murkier and muddier. I don't trust the stability of my hands all that much so I applied this with a dripper. And turned out I sealed this off nicely. Once it dried, I peeled off the tapes. And expectedly it peeled off a bit of the black paint. Cut off the excess epoxy with the help of the exacto blade. Then fix the peeled paint. In order to get rid of the glossy appearance of the epoxy and create a streaming water effect, I dabbed the entire surface with transparent PVA glue. I applied the glue twice in order to have enough texture for me to dry brush a very light green color to create the stream effect. This is the first time I've ever done this, didn't turn out to be as hard as I feared it would be. Epoxy was soaked a bit by the flock I added previously, so I added more. After that I went back on the surface, added dried and fresh grass, as well as more foliage randomly here and there. So for this project I planned three trees. I skipped to show how I made the trunks as I've shown the exact same thing in the previous video. I painted these with a uh, green-brown mixture of paint. Since I glued baking soda on the trunks, while making these I had pretty good texture for dry brushing. So I applied a green color to imitate a mossy bark detail on these. Once the painting is completely done, I added the canopy with the help of CA glue. After that, with the help of various coats of hairspray, I applied the flock to cover the canopy of the trees. I've shown this process in the previous video as well, but wanted to show it again from a different and closer angle for anyone who is wondering and interested. I especially collect the excess flock because it's somewhat coated with hairspray and clumped together. Perfect to use as a foliage. So, for the figures, this time I'm using Airfix US paratroopers. Even though Airfix ones are same scale, they are smaller than Rebel's US figures. So I can't mix them in the same scene. As usual, primed them in grey, then painted their faces and hands with flesh. Uniforms with a cork brown color. Applied a diluted mixture of cork brown and green brown in two coats. Painted the helmets with green-brown. Boots with leather-brown mixed with a tiny bit of an anthracite grey. Their straps and leather-like parts with leather-brown. Pouches, flasks, etc. with a random lighter tone of brown. Weapons and accessories with brown and gunmetal colors. Applied flash wash on their faces and hands and finally diluted black wash all over their uniforms. Once everything is ready, I'm putting them all over the diorama base, starting with the trees. You might have noticed the black dents on the bridge stonework. I didn't realize that up until I painted the grey over it. At first it bothered me, then I kinda liked them the way they are. 
it gives a somewhat randomness to the bridge. I hope you appreciate it the same way. Also made and added the broken tree stump right where it would be before it was broken. With the positioning of the figures I tried to catch a feeling of this squad being in an ambushing position and in a visual communication distance. I also placed the broken tree in the creek in a right position where it would have been used by the squad members to cross the creek over it. Logically speaking, maybe the radio man would be behind, but his posture fit just perfect for the corner I placed him in. With the last figure in place, I'm done with the section of the multi diorama build. Let's go through some beauty shots, shall we? All in all, it's been a somewhat easy, less time consuming, but an entertaining build for me. Been a long while since I built a bridge structure as well as working with epoxyism. Got a feeling that beauty shots when all four sections are put together will be fantastic. Thank you for being here and watching this episode. I'll see you in the US section of this build in the next video. Stay tuned and until next time, take care.